Ugh, I'm so unorganized. I can't even tell what my own notes mean. Oh, what's this? Something scribbled here with my name on it. It just says, left, right, right, middle, left, right, left. Hmm. I got enough. Any more and mother will get suspicious. There we are. About time. Uh, Hans? Hello? Winnie! Oh! <laughs> s -s 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 Sorry, I didn't hear you come in. But I I'm glad you're finally here. Yeah, well, if it wasn't for your dang door code, what's got you all excited, huh? You'll never believe what I found. Oh, I, 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 I barely believe it myself. Last night. By the orphanage, I heard two travelers talking about something. They said it was the scientific discovery of the century. Well, what was it? Winnie, they found it. They found just what we've been looking for. It's called telekinesis. I'm not following. What's telekinesis? Telekinesis, y yes. Well, I wasn't so sure myself. But it went on to describe how this man could move things just by thinking about it. So, he was actually a witch then? No. No, Winnie, that's the thing. He was just a regular farmer. And that's not all. He, he, he could, could read people's thoughts and feelings, their memories. The townsfolk accused him of being a witch. What with the fear of witchcraft spreading and all. But apparently, he knew nothing about witchcraft. He just sensed his abilities. Okay, that's nice for him. But I still don't see why you're all excited. Right, yes. Well, I did some research after hearing this. And it's just like I thought. All the things that were said about this man's abilities. It's just like the third eye chakra spells. Third eye? Isn't that the subject we had a few weeks ago in class? Exactly. Don't you see? It's what we've been looking for. It's a connection between science and witchcraft, Winnie. You mean, this would show Mother once and for all that science is important? Exactly. Just think of the possibilities, too. The discoveries we could make with this. Hold on. If this is what the third eye thing can do, then my test, I could pass it easily. Well, sh 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 sure, but not just that. If we can learn more about what telekinesis is, then we can help people understand magic through science. People won't have to be afraid of us anymore. This is it. This could be what finally helps me beat Yannicka once and for all. Oh, but Winnie, I think p p p perhaps we should concentrate on... Right. What do we do now? Can we get it? This telekinesis? Telekinesis. Right, right, whatever. How do we get it? What do we do? Well, maybe, but perhaps we shouldn't rush into this. Rush? Hans, the Wanderer's Test is any day now. Mother was just lecturing me about it. If I get this telekinesis, if I use it to pass this test, my weird will be perfect. Mother won't have to scold me or tell me off anymore. Right. That is true. And maybe finally, finally, Mother will stop comparing me. I'll never have to be told I'm not as good as precious little Yannicka ever again. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, Winnie. Let's do it. Let's help you pass that test. So, details, details. How are we going to do this? Do you remember anything about the third eye spells? I, uh... Might not have been paying too much attention in class. Ah, uh, yes. I looked over my notes last night. 
We were never taught any direct awakening spells, but there's one incantation Mrs. Vogt recited from her spell book that kind of fits. Okay, great. What is it? it it's an incantation to summon the goddess Minerva for extrasensory insight and knowledge. You imbue magic beads with the spell, then place them on your head to help open your third eye. But Winnie, you know that Mrs. Volk's spell book is strictly off limits to us. And you know it wouldn't be the first time I've borrowed it either. All right, so first we need a plan for swiping the spell book again. What else? Oh, well, from what I remember, the beads are okay. I have some left over from class. But we also need three candles. One of white, one of purple, and one of b b blue. Hmm. That could be tricky. I don't think there's any left in the school. We... we could make them, though. We can? All right, great. Swipe spell book. Make candles. Easy. Let's get cracking, then. Where's this telekinesis guy gone? Let's go find him. Surely he could just tell me how to pass my test if he wants to help people, right? Actually, that was kind of my first thought, too. That's why I'm fixing this machine. The idea is that it reads patterns of energy moving in the brain when you wear it. So if we observe this man's brain patterns, then perhaps we could even replicate them. Yes! That sounds great. Let's do it. Um, but I, I'm not so sure. It might take time, Winnie. This machine still needs a lot of work. And the man, he went into hiding. What? Why? To avoid punishment. These townspeople, they're really serious about putting an end to witchcraft. Ugh, oh, darn people. Always getting so worked up about stuff they don't know anything about. Yes, well, that's why they get worked up, Winnie. We just have to be patient, find ways to help them understand, you know? Yeah, yeah, sure. Whatever you say. What do we need for candle making then? Uh, well, I know it's possible. I just don't know how. Yannicka's the one who told me about it. Maybe you can ask her. Oh, right, of course she did. Ugh. But I do know how to make dyes. So if we can make candles, I can help color them. As long as it's the right color, it can be flowers, plants, stuff like that. I have a book on biology around here that might help you. Hmm. And we need white, purple, and blue. Keep your eyes open, and if you see anything, bring it to me and I'll take care of the dye. By the way, Mother said you have to go see her about your test. Oh, right. <sighs> I still need to pass the smoke appearance module. Smoke appearance? Oh, is that for your elective? Yeah, methods of appearing. The only reason I chose it is because I thought I could fake it with solidified carbon dioxide. Turns out, not so easy to move around or use on my own. Solid carbon... What? Solidify carbon dioxide. It's that smoky stuff behind me there. It's kind of like ice, but dry and much colder. So cold it burns you if you touch it. I figured that out the hard way. But how's that meant to help you with your smoke appearance? Well, that fog coming off of it? That's sublimation. The ice turning from a solid into a gas. But if you drop the ice into water, then that happens a lot faster and makes a lot more fog. Ah, I see. And then you'd use that to disguise your appearance. Clever, clever. Hmm. Maybe. Not just disguising an appearance, but also a disappearance as well. Winnie, what are you planning now? Hans, we'll use this to steal the spell book. It's perfect. If there's as much fog as you say, it should be easy to grab it while Mother is distracted. Sure, but l l like I said, it's too cold to carry, and we don't have any gloves. And besides, I can't really drop it in water without Mrs. Vogt noticing. Right, right. Don't worry about all that. I'll find a way I can help while you're doing the test. Leave it to me. I'll figure it out. Right. This incantation isn't, uh, 
incantating itself. I'm off to get us stuff. Okay then, Winnie. I'll I'll be here if you need me. Ah, he looks hungry. I better find something for him to eat first. He doesn't like being handled too much when he's hungry. Do you? No, you don't. This little fellow always comes and keeps us company at the hideout. Apart from me and Hans, he's the only other one that knows where it is. So no telling, got it? Let's see. Hans' books are pretty complex. Usually I can find a good one, though. There's Euclidean works in space and number theory. Charles Babbage and the Turing equivalent. Yeah. Oh, this must be the biology book Hans mentioned. Biology for beginners. Mmm. I don't want to get stung. I'm not putting my hand any closer when they're crazy like that. Nah. I think Hans needs them more than I do. That thing looks particularly complicated. Who knows what Hans is doing with this experiment here? Best not to touch. Ouch! Yikes, that's flipping cold! You kidding me? That's like the treehouse treasure. It's not going anywhere. Hans is working on it. And I don't think he needs my help just yet. It's third eye spell making time, so no experiments today. It's third eye spell making time, so no experiments today. These are just different chemicals we keep around for various experiments. It's good where it is. These look like diagrams for Hans' machine. I can actually kind of follow this. After all the time I've spent watching him tinker with these things, it's not too surprising, I guess. Oh, excuse you. All right, time to get rid of that fiery breath before you get a belly ache. Winnie, don't take him away for too long. You know the red dragon gets agitated when the baby's away from her. I know, I know. Jeez, you sound like mother. Hey, sorry. Just k k k careful with the little guy, okay? Annika. Hi, Winnie. What can I help you with? So, I heard you know how to make candles. Oh, yes. I wrote an essay for Mother on it last semester. Uh, of course you did. Do, do you think you could tell me how to make them, maybe? What was that, Winnie? Can you tell me how to make some dumb candles? Or not. Whatever. I don't care. Oh, sure thing. I'd be happy to. Well, really, all you need is some wax. Either paraffin or beeswax or something like that. Ah. Uh, hold on. Aren't the crayons from school made from paraffin? I... I kind of fed them to the baby dragon. I don't know. He seemed to like them. Aw, how cute. Well, if you do happen to find some wax, then you just mold the wax around a wick and you're done. Wicks can be anything. A piece of string or rope or something like that. Then you can just dip them into various dyes to change the candle's color if you want to. Uh-huh. Wax, wick, dyes. <sighs> Easy. Thanks. Thanks for nothing. Anytime, Winnie. I'm glad I could help. Uh, never mind. I'm leaving. Oh, okay, Winnie. See you later, then. Hey, Jacob. <sighs> what now, Winnie? What's the deal with the flower? Is this some kind of fashion thing, or...? It, it's nothing. Yeah, sure, fashion. That's exactly what it is. Really? Because I don't know. It looks kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Like you'd know anything about fashion. If that's fashion, then I'm glad I don't. 
Ah, forget it. Ugh. Yannicka has like a million notes in here. And Jacob's side is like a trash heap. Unless I have something to look for, I'm not rubbaging through all this. Jacob is so messy. What a grub. Yannicka, on the other hand, typically perfect and neat. What a suck up. Ugh. Yannicka has like a million notes in here. And Jacob's side is like a trash heap. Unless I have something to look for, I'm not rubbaging through all this. Here we go. Let's get all that nasty fire breath out now. There you go. Get it all out. Is that really necessary, Winfrieda? It's already getting too hot in here. Weren't you the one saying it was a little chilly before? Well, fine. But at least open some windows to keep the room from becoming a furnace, please. Let's get you back to the hideout before Hans gets upset with us. There, safe and sound. And free to leave, little guy. Eh, uh, or not. As you please. Now it's all filled with gas from the dry ice. That's Jacob and precious little Yannicka's desk. Of course, she's front of the class. And of course, Jacob followed her there. Ugh, Yannicka has like a million notes in here. And Jacob's side is like a trash heap. Unless I have something to look for, I'm not rubbaging through all this. I'm not putting that in there. I'm holding on to it, thanks. Ugh. Yannicka has like a million notes in here. And Jacob's side is like a trash heap. Unless I have something to look for, I'm not rubbaging through all this. Jacob is so messy. What a grub. Yannicka, on the other hand, typically perfect and neat. What a suck up. Jacob is so messy. What a grub. Yannicka, on the other hand, typically perfect and neat. What a suck up. That's Jacob and precious little Yannicka's desk. Of course, she's front of the class. <laughs> And of course, Jacob followed her there. Ugh. Yannicka has like a million notes in here. And Jacob's side is like a trash heap. Unless I have something to look for, I'm not rubbaging through all this. Hey, Jacob. <sighs> what now, Winnie? What's the deal with the flower? Is this some kind of fashion thing, or...? It... it's nothing. Yeah, sure. Fashion. 
That's exactly what it is. Really? Because I don't know. It looks kind of ridiculous. <laughs> like you'd know anything about fashion. If that's fashion, then I'm glad I don't. What's the deal with the flower? Is this some kind of fashion thing, or...? It... it... Ah, forget it. Hmm... I wonder. He does keep hitting himself, and this would be hard enough to protect his head. Only thing is, he wouldn't be able to wear it like this. It's full of honey. Hmm, I wonder. He does keep hitting himself, and this would be hard enough to protect his head. Only thing is, he wouldn't be able to wear it like this. It's full of honey. These two brothers, all they care about is looking cool and impressing Yannicka. This one is the tough guy. If the yo-yo didn't make that obvious enough. Something tells me his trick still needs some work, though. That doesn't need any chalk. That doesn't need any chalk. The Yannicka? I'm not giving her anything. Eh, he hasn't got anything I want. I'm keeping this. 